about this. Can we grill hamburgers in our microwave? Yes. Can we do steak? Yes. Guess what? It has a cool to the touch exterior. It's a microwave grill. Yes, you'll be using your microwave in ways you never thought possible. That grill press lid creates those great grill lines. And actually, I think it makes better food. It's juicier. It's tender inside. Can I really cook from frozen? Yeah, really? Mm -hmm. So if you're cooking for one or two, grab those hamburger patties out or the steaks or the chicken and jump it right on in there. We also have a 23 recipe guide for you. I'm going to show you everything. Please call us. We're at 1 800 395 1601 because I will have Eric Thies with me in a second. But let me walk you through everything that you're getting. So you're going to get the microwave grill, right? You're also going to get this ring, and I'll show you what this ring is for in just a moment. But let me let you know if you have no grill in your house, no problem. We're going to show you how to do that. You're also going to get this rack which is going to allow you to steam and also to bake. How awesome is that? I have to take this out first. So if I wanted to steam, I put water in there, I put this down, and I just put my food in. Here's this little ring. If I wanted to bake some muffins, I absolutely could. And I put the top on and we'll be baking. Eric Thies is gonna be with me, we'll show you everything. You also get a recipe guide with 23 recipes, but Eric has actually put recipes on QVC.com. He's put recipes on our Facebook page. So we'll show you how to do that as well. We have colors. The copper from Copper Chef is already super, super popular. We also have our blue and we're calling it, yep, just our marine blue rather. And then we also have the black. This is brand new today. It's at a price of $44.96. Two easy payments of $22.48 to turn your microwave into an oven into a grill, into the way that you can, you can saute vegetables. Yes, we're going to show you all that. But about Copper Chef, right? You already know the Copper Chef pans, probably, because let me just say that 915,000 of our Copper Chef items have been sent out to you. You love them. You rave about them. Whenever I present um, the casserole dish or the one with the handle, it flies out the door. So just want to let you know that Copper Chef is a big brand here at QVC. And then I, I'm going to walk over here and introduce you to Chef Restaurateur. Um, I'm just going to call him a, a product inventor and author, Eric Thies. And he knows that I'm not a big cook, so I'm going to learn right along with you. And Eric, nice to see you. Hi, good to see you. <laughs> so I'm super excited about this because I totally have in a microwave and I have been underutilizing that bad boy apparently. You have, I guarantee <laughs> it. I bet you've just been doing coffee, popcorn, and, and Chinese food. Yeah, that's it. All right, well, what if I told you you could grill a steak, you could grill pork chops, you can make paninis. No way. Bread. I'm telling you, anything you could do. But before we start, yeah. before we go anywhere else, I want to show you how to use it. Okay. So I heated this up for three minutes in the microwave. Now I have a steak. This is a nice, big uh, New York strip steak. Whoa. Look, it's already cooking. Now I take my press, which has all also been heated, and there we go. So what we did is we've taken the power of the microwave and turned it into radiant heat. So not only are we using radiant heat, but we're also using microwaves. We kind of harness their power to give you fast, amazing results, but traditional results in a microwave, which we've only used traditionally for heating stuff up. Yeah, that's a totally so, new idea. To me it was. I was like, the microwave, I don't like to cook in the microwave because stuff comes out rubbery, it comes out looking like it really isn't cooked, or my hot dog, the seam is exploded, but it looks <laughs> right. dead. You know, it looks crazy. What are you doing over here? I put it on four minutes on the clock. We're going to cook this live time. <laughs> we have plenty of time. I see how much time we have on the clock. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and I'm going to cook live time again, this beautiful bone-in pork chop. Again, I heated it for just three minutes. You can hear it's already you can cooking. You hear the sizzle. You this, can see the smoke. That's right. This gets up to over 600 degrees. Listen to that. So, boom, right away we're doing steak and we're doing pork chop. But what I want to, I need to stress to you guys is it's not just for protein. Mm -hmm. And when I say protein, I mean, you know, steaks, steaks and, and chops and chicken and things like that. It's also for things that we use uh, like bread. So I have a grilled cheese sandwich mm -hmm. here. Now this is just a big Texas toast sandwich and uh, we put some margarine on there or butter. Look at that. Ooh. Whoa. That's hot. Can I ask you a couple questions as you're going along? 
Sure. So, whoa. So, first of all, you're taking this out of the microwave, and obviously the edges aren't hot. Because when you. Right. And do I need to pre kind of charge it, put it in the yes. microwave for three minutes every time I cook every something? Every time you cook something. So, Good everything thing to know. you've seen me do, yeah. I have preheated the, the unit for three minutes. We call it charging it. So, we charged it up. Okay. We kind of excited the molecules in there to make them nice and, heat and hot. Yeah. And that gives us the ability to sear. So, we're going to do things like look at this. Whoa. To show you how hot my press was, Shoot. I literally just made a grilled cheese sandwich without putting it back in the microwave. So you saw that live time, it took me about 20 seconds right. to get that to happen. Listen to this, it's already crispy. So I'm just gonna put the press back on mm -hmm. and we're just gonna let it sit here and I'm gonna have a grilled cheese sandwich without even putting it back into the microwave. Okay. And I think that's fun. So we've just done steak um, that's in there right now. Chops are in there right now. A grilled cheese sandwich is gonna be being made right now. This is exclusive to QVC. If you have questions like I do, as I'm gonna be asking him along the way, call us at, we're at 1-800-395-1601. You know, get it home, $22.48. That's on two easy payments. But guess what? If you have your Q card, you can put this on four easy payments of $11 and change. And that's our today's special value, K46221. Now, what we've seen is, as we said, steak and chop is cooking right now. You always charge this. Yes. Is it always Always three minutes when you're charging it's always three minutes always three minutes and that preps it for you to do anything else now look look at this uh, kielbasa look at that look at that sear on there I'm telling you when you get the sear on the kielbasa and then you roast it in here basically you're searing and roasting it you're gonna have an amazing flavor profile look at my onions Whoa. my onions are grilled they're beautiful and I don't know if you like kielbasa, but here, you just make sandwiches. Now here, I have four giant kielbasa sandwiches ready to go. So that's about the capacity. This is a, a standard hot dog roll. So I just, yep. I know it's hard to see on TV size. Mm -hmm. I have four of these. I could have done probably another one or two. And that's the kind of capacity that you get. I'm going to take a bite of this, but I need your help with cook times because what does yeah. this mean to me uh, in terms of cook time? <laughs> I know time? that's hard for you. Sorry. I know, you know what? And poor, <laughs> I'm going to ruin her lipstick. Poor Mary Lynn Meyer. <laughs> I have an hour with her next hour. She's going to be like, what is going on? What's all going right. on with cook time? So basically, all the proteins take between two and four minutes. So you charge your unit for three minutes, and cook times are about two to four minutes in the microwave time. And then you just kind of let it sit for a little while, and that's going to allow the juices to settle. And just like when they, you know, fancy chefs, they say, hey, always let your steak rest. You always let the protein rest for a certain period of time. But typically, we're cooking in the microwave for two to four minutes. Um, now, things like that grilled cheese, I didn't even put it back in. My press was so hot, I actually cooked the grilled cheese right on the counter. I love that. And that, that's really fun. So we get to do things like kielbasa mm -hmm. and onions or kielbasa and kraut, whatever works for you. And then um, let me show you one more thing over here because uh, this one is important. Now, this is very important oh. because what, what I'm showing you here is, is the chicken. Go ahead. Okay, so my chicken has been grilled in my microwave. Let me get it out of here for you. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So I have two beautiful pieces of chicken. Now, look, look inside. This, there's no cleanup, guys. This, we're look just literally juice. putting this in, in, in uh, soapy water. All the juice is down there, so it's cooked really juicy. Now stay with me right here. Don't, don't go, don't leave. Don't touch that dial. Whoa! Now what I did was, this Ew. is gross, guys. I don't mean to gross you out, but I literally cooked a chicken breast in the microwave for four minutes. And this is what it looked like. So when Rachel and I were talking at the top of that show, she's like, well, are people gonna be used to doing chicken breasts? Like, are they gonna get it? I'm like, right. no, nobody cooks chicken in their microwave because it's gross. Because it's gross. It doesn't work. Right. Look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. This like, is what it looks like without the microwave grill pan from Copper Chef. That's what it looks like with. That is an incredible difference. Plus, I don't know if you want that, some chicken, but yeah, that's darn good. I do want some chicken, and I actually had the little kielbasa. And I want to just share with you that if you're just joining us, this is our best find of the day. We have it in marine blue. We have it in that copper. We also have it in black. 
take advantage of the easy pay. Get it home for $22.48. The value here is phenomenal because we're at $44.96. Our QVC price will be about $55 uh, when it gets off of the today's special value. You also get the 23 recipes that are here, but Eric's been kind enough to put some recipes on Facebook. We have recipes on QVC.com just to help you get started. I'm going to grab this because I want to start reading a couple of these. So you could do the grilled turkey burgers, the grilled hamburgers, stuffed pork loin, loin grilled chicken, grilled pork chops. Patty melts, how awesome is that? Hot dogs, which I love. If you're a fish eater, grilled salmon. I do want to welcome in Maureen because I think she might have a question. She might be picking it up. Hi, Maureen. I'm Rachel. This is Chef Eric. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Good. Are you picking I, this up today? I have all I have all his copper chips. Oh, your I, sweetheart. I, wonderful. Wonderful. And I've been looking at this since last night because I I have all I have an air fryer. I have all these little things from QVC. Yeah. Aww. And uh I'm just watching, like I said, it took me from last night, midnight, to decide now to order it. I thought, my husband and I, we go out to eat sometimes. Sometimes we just shop, come home, and I like the fact that you can throw in something frozen. Yes. Like a steak. And, yes. Uh, we'll give that a try. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Hey, Maureen, I'm going to show you in a minute how we take yeah. a frozen burger right out of the freezer and yes. cook it for four minutes, and you're ready to eat a burger. That's well, everybody's in a hurry today, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, right? Yeah, everybody's in a hurry. But the great thing about this is that you get to turn your microwave into an oven, into a baking space, into a grilling space. So there's no making your kitchen hot. There's no having to go out to grill or if you're in a place that doesn't allow grills. I think you'll just find that cooking is faster easier and you get better results with this than, than you would with trying to just use a microwave or, or even maybe even condition, cooking traditionally. Well, I have a question. Yeah. My microwave, and maybe all of them uh, have that now, the turntable that turns. Yes, you, that, need, you need that. No problem. Okay, that, oh, all right, there's no problem putting it on that. Then. No, you need it. Actually, if you don't have a turntable, you, you can't use it. Almost oh, every okay. microwave has a yeah, turntable nowadays. Yes, so. I would say maybe that's maybe something you might say because I, I have been watching all your shows and maybe some old fogies don't know <laughs> like me. <laughs> hey, listen, that, that's, actually that's a great, great question. question. You need Thank to have a turntable to make this work. Your microwaves need to be between 950 watts and 1,350 watts to make it work. And everything I'm telling you is 98% of all the microwaves. So most okay. people, you're, you're gonna be fine. Okay. You just have to have that turntable. Okay, oh, wow. Very good, very good. Great question. And Maureen, um, I yes. will ask Eric for you, how's cleanup on this? Hey, cleanup's a joke, right? Because we have the Ceramitech well, nonstick coating. And if well, you already have Copper Chef, you already yeah. know how the Ceramitech works, right? Well, I, we actually, uh, what you said about kibasi and sauerkraut, yeah. that's what we had last night. Yeah. My husband cooked the sausage in the microwave, and I did the uh, sauerkraut the way I fixed it in the Copper Chef saute pan. So ah. we, you know, we are using that. You, you made it nice and, uh, and brown? I hope you made it nice and brown because I like my sauerkraut brown. Oh, yes, yes, nice. yes, yes. Oh. yes. Well, Maureen, I love that yes. you're picking this up and that after thinking about it for a little bit, you thought you'd jump on in and try it. And thank you so much for calling. What do you think of our easy pay and price today? Well, that's wonderful, but I'm just uh, going to pay it off, and okay. I ordered the black. Oh, wonderful. Okay, well, the black is on its way to you. Well, I'm looking forward to it very much, and I just love QVC. Aww. I don't know about my husband so much, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just or, I just ordered some Joan Rivers things. Oh yes, have, yes, yes which absolutely. you're wearing. I have that in the black. Oh well, yeah. I and love the that. The prior last week with mm -hmm. Emerald. I'm sorry. To, you know why I got that one? Because I'm 80 years old and I'm not into all these push buttons. And his was just temperature and hit. Yes. It was easy yeah. for yep. someone my. Age. That's great. You know what, Maureen? Thank you so much for calling and thank you so much for uh, putting your trust in us. And please call back anytime. Have a blessed day, okay? You all too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You know what? I have a question um, now that Maureen is, was talking about yeah. this. D is there any temperature I need to do here or what does the recipe say? All for right. Most all the of recipes these? are all cook on high. So whatever your high is, uh, you yeah. know it's number 10, right. but that's the standard setting is high. Okay. You hit it for three minutes, you charge it up. We call it preheating mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You put the press down, you put the pan down, pop it in for three minutes, it gets crazy hot, up to 600 degrees. So guys, you're getting all the accessories that you need here. We are giving you the grill pan and the grill press. So you're gonna cook from the top and the bottom. 
We're also giving you the ring that's gonna allow you to turn it into a baker. We have cool to the touch handles, so you don't have to worry about needing um, hot mitts to take it out of the microwave. That long handle we put on the top was done for a reason. Mm -hmm. That press gets 600 degrees. You don't wanna have your hand near it, so we designed it properly. Burgers right out of the freezer only take four minutes in a, in a charged unit, and then it's uh, from the freezer to the table in four minutes in the microwave, and man, you can't beat that. You know what, so I want you to stay tuned because I know you've got some things coming out of the microwave I do. for us. Um, so stay tuned because we're gonna show you how to bake in this and yeah. we're also gonna show you how to cook from frozen in this. So let's reveal a couple more pieces. Yeah, so look guys, this, this was the chicken that we did. Yeah. I mean, look, that's